Good morning. In this lecture, we are going to see the manipulation of agar impression material. We all know that impression is a negative likeness or copy in reverse of the surface of an object. An imprint of the teeth and adjacent structures for use in dentistry. There are so many materials are available for making impression. One among them is agar, which is a reversible hydrocolloid. The composition of agar impression material is agar, which is which provides brush keep like structure to the material. Borax is the strengthening agent. Potassium sulfate is the gypsum hardener. Wax and hard arch are the filler material. And thixotropic materials provide thickness to the agar material. Water is the reaction medium. Agar is a thermoplastic impression material. The setting process is called gelation. The gelation started when the material liquefies at the temperature of 70 to 100 degrees centigrade. It becomes gel or gelation starts at mouth temperature that is 37 degrees centigrade. It becomes uh, totally it becomes gel at 18 to 21 degree centigrade. The manipulation of agar is entirely different. It has a separate unit or device that is called conditioning unit. It has three compartments, liquefaction compartment, storage compartment, and conditioning or tempering compartment. Liquefaction taken place when you raise the temperature at 200 degree centigrade within 10 minutes. Once the material liquefies, it will be automatically move on to the storage compartment. There the material can be stored at 65 degrees centigrade. Then the material to be conditioned or processed before the arrival of the patient. It can be taken place within 10 minutes. So we have to bring the temperature from 65 to 45 degrees centigrade in the conditioning unit. Let's see how the agar impression is made. For making agar impression material, there is a special tray, uh, kind of tray is used that is called water cool trays. In the water cool tray, one side there is an inlet, the other side there is an outlet. Once the tray is loaded with the material, then we have to press the tray into the patient's mouth. Then pass on the cool water from the inlet. Because of the temperature variation, the agar material starts become gel. So that the water comes out of the outlet will be hot. As the temperature differences due to the uh, gel and agar shawl become gel, which transmits the temperature and make the water in a warm or hot one. Once the material reaches the gel stage, we have to remove the tray in a single jar. Then we have to wash it under running tap water. Then we have to disinfect the material in the pavidin iodine or iodine form or clotrodine material. For further details, you can refer the following textbook. Thank you.